all right guys i know it's been a while since i shot videos but my issue has been solar so as you can see i'm charging my car right now i was at 100 percent, but i've been charging since this morning so with the sun it's helping me say the batteries are charging you know but well, see that's the thing i don't know if it's gonna if it's charging or if it's uh discharging but i mean obviously it's discharging because you see the negative 20 was well, fluctuating from 20 to 30 amps but that's because the sun is out and i need more pounds the battery bank the 40k is perfect eight gill i mean four gill batteries and four light po4 batteries is perfect to run the tesla but i've been doing research so it's been a while but i'm going to add more panels i really want to add about 8,000 watts of solar because i know if i got 8,000 watts of solar then my batteries will be charged by the time i make it home see the thing is i would have to charge at night i do have enough power to store inside a 40 kilowatt hour battery that's 40k so i have a lot of power that i can store in there during the day while i'm at work and by the time i get home i'm gonna you know be able to charge my car straight off of the batteries because i'll be at 100 percent so i am looking at some type of wi-fi modular that i can use to monitor my batteries while i'm at work you know that way i'll know exactly where i'm at or if i need to stop at a supercharger see the thing about stopping at a supercharger to charge my tesla is more people are buying teslas and the one that's near me is only six stalls six charging stations that's it and when i get there i'm way behind six seven cars now the wait time is usually not that bad depending on what number in line you are at the time last night usually sundays be slow nights because most people go out to go to work so when i got off work last night it was about 20 teslas waiting we were all waiting for people to finish charging so we can charge our cars so at that point i got a little frustrated because i have a you know a charger at home a home charger but my problem is keeping my batteries at 100 percent while i'm at work so that that's why i haven't been shooting videos because i've been doing tons of research on that trying to figure it out and i know a few people had you know shot videos about charging off grid but I don't go off of people unless you are doing it if you're not actually doing the test you can throw numbers at me all day on what i need to do but if you're not physically doing it then i don't go off of that and i hope other people won't go off of that either but solar is key charging those batteries to 100 percent every day is always key even if you don't want to charge it to 185 percent whatever but lithium ion batteries i mean the life po4 batteries are made to drain up and down 100 percent to zero percent it you know that that's just what it is a lot of people don't like to do it hey that's fine if you don't like to do it that's fine but i am charging a tesla which pulls a bunch of power so i have to have a bunch of solar coming in gotta have a bunch of solar coming in so i've been looking at this wi-fi modular that go with the mpp solar that goes to this mpp solar inverter that way i can monitor my battery my off-grid system while i'm at work and know that i'm at 100 percent by the time i come home because i do you know live a live a ways from work uh, i have a long commute from work so if my car is at 100 percent it's gonna take 30 percent let me show y'all real quick let me get well get y'all a look at how it looks so that's me charging the car saying that i got five hours and 45 minutes left and um 70 percent is where the car is at and that's charging at four kilowatts we didn't put eight kilowatts in the battery 16 amps 230 240 volts so and i also i'm looking at a bigger inverter i think i'm gonna go with a grow watt because this is the 5000 watt right here this is the 5000 watt mpp solar it's not enough power i was gonna run the house off of this but i start thinking back 
you know, once I stop using propane, I'm gonna have to run an electric hot water heater. I might be cooking with the electric stove. And I also might be washing clothes, which you got the dryer and the washer running, plus the pump running. So I wanna have way more than 5,000 watts, which takes me back to the grow watt, 12K. I think I'm gonna go with another grow watt, 12K. Cause I want to run my AC units and charge my Tesla off of this grow wide unit. And then I'm going to have another grow wide unit that I'm running, you know, like I say, if I'm washing, then you got to worry. If I'm washing, I have the electric hot water heat on. I have the pump on the water pump and the washing dryer all on at the same time. So 12,000 Watts is definitely enough to handle that. You know, five isn't so. It's time for me to, I'm gonna probably get rid of this. This might be used for something else. I might use it for something else. I'm gonna think about what I'm gonna use it for, but I'm definitely gonna use it for something else. And and here's all, here are the grow, I mean the uh, UFO batteries, which this one unit is 10K. Right now we charging, I was, let's see, we have 50.7. 58%. So. And then here's the other, the second one, which is another 10K, which is 20K. And this one is at, let's see. This one's sitting at 58, 30.30%, 30 105 amp hours remaining in the battery. So it's a little off. This one 58, and that one is 50. 50, well, they both 58, I'm sorry. My bad. I didn't look at that. So 58, 33, and this one is 58, 83. Okay, so that's where we at and you know, it's charging on that third ball which is 75% So we definitely over 50% of course So we, we should be charged by the end of the day and the inverter shows 50.3 Let's see what we bringing in on the solar So we using 276 watts. That's nothing. My, I don't really use too many watts to be honest in my house So, uh oh go back so we're bringing in 2.6 2.2 so 2270 watts is what we bringing in from the solar that is the solar ground mount i'll go out there in a minute and i'll show y'all that because i've showed it in some of my videos but i haven't really went into depth on the solar ground mount that i do have so that's what we're bringing in let's go back uh, back 44 amps that's what we bring in 44 amps so i really want to bring in 80 amps in this on the house and i also want to bring in 80 amps on when i'm charging my tesla that's why i'm going to add more solar so y'all will see me in a few of my videos i'm going to go outside in a minute and i'll let you know i'm at 7 71 percent and we didn't put in eight kilowatts in the battery all right, so I'll see y'all when I go outside and show y'all my grandma. All right, I'm back. So I wanted to show y'all this. These are 430 watt panels. And I have nine of them. Three in that row. I have three in that row. And I also have three in this row. Totaling nine panels. And... I just got it set up. It's not, you know, it's not nothing too fancy. It's just going at an angle with some unistruts or super struts. I'm just going down like that. Nothing too fancy. But it works. And let me show y'all. So uh, these are 430 watts. Right there. So I'm definitely going to buy more. I'm going to add nine more to my, on the roof. Of the same exact panels add nine more and then i'm also going to add another nine more to you know the house i mean charging the core so i'm gonna add nine to you know supply the house and i'm gonna add nine to supply the car and that should be well over enough power to charge that tesla every day no grid i mean no uh i don't have no light pole 
none of that coming this way if y'all can see none of that no pole no pole up there so i'm strictly off grid and that's just what it is all right so i'll see y'all in my next video and the next video i shoot will be me adding uh, uh, more solar to my my car i mean to charge my car and add more solar to the house so i'll see y'all in my next video